All right, Mike QS Motor Moser here. We're going to solder XT90 connectors. I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm doing it on my stove top so I don't burn anything. This is the type of solder that I'm using. It is um, 60 40 rosin core water so uh, wire solder. It's, uh, it's, it's not too thick, it, it flows nicely. That's what we want. I got my solder right here. Uh, solder wand. I usually keep this clean at tip with a file. When it gets that black residue on it, it doesn't get hot. All right, we're to twist this up. This is 10 AWG siliconized wire. Twist this in nicely. See how much I clipped off? About, about one third of an inch. Put that in there nice and neat. All right, what we're gonna do is, got a little piece of solder here. Okay, so you, I have two sides of the, um, I have the opposite side XT60 on here. You can't see it, but it's clamped in. What you wanna do is you wanna get this nice and hot. And you wanna flow the solder on. That's why I like the, the, the flux already inside the solder. It just makes the job a lot easier and a lot quicker. What you want to do is, um, you want a nice blade on there. The solder flows down inside. You don't want to make it too hot because it'll melt inside the pin there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Just make sure all the way around it, it, it flows nicely. That should be pretty good. It's burning hot, so be careful if you touch it. That looks good. All right. You can see that right there. It looks pretty good. I'll put some heat shrink on it for a professional job. Torch, your heat shrink. Don't forget to put your heat shrink on. That'll push down nicely. There you go. Check it out. There it is. This is really hot, so be careful. That's what I do. It keeps the pin straight when you put the opposite end on so the pin doesn't melt over while it's hot. I'll do the other side. 